Well, the cost of raising a family is just going up and up. And so to help you pinch some pennies, we are bringing in America's cheapest family. We're introducing you to Annette and Steve Economides. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good to be here, Kelly. First of all, your name, you know, is hilarious. So this is no coincidence that you are, you know, very frugal and your last name is Economides. It, it, that is true. It's Greek and it means son of the steward. Some people think that think it means cheap in Greek, but they're wrong. <laughs> well, no matter what, the two of you have a lot of lessons to teach all of us at home. So tell me a little bit about what you'd like to uh, tell us tonight about, especially like grocery tips. Yes, we've got dozens upon dozens that we could share, but we're going to share three this morning. The first one is to plan your dinner menu around the weekly ad flyers that come out in your area from your grocery stores. That one strategy alone is going to save you 50% on your groceries. The second strategy is to use your freezer like a bank. Um, and the holidays are just around the corner. It's the perfect time to utilize this strategy. Buy an extra turkey at Thanksgiving. Buy an extra ham at Christmas. Buy corned beef at St. Patrick's Day. Stock up on ribs during the summer holidays. As you put that meat in your freezer, once again, you're going to be saving 50% on your groceries at least. The third strategy this morning that we want to share with you is to use your store loyalty cards. Um, you may not think that five cents here and 10 cents here really adds up, but it does. And as you use those store loyalty cards, when you get to the checkout at your grocery store, you're going to save 40 to 50% on your groceries. Wow, that is completely amazing. Now, Steve, you have some ways for us to save money, maybe in the car? That's right. You know, Kelly, what we do is we don't like to pay retail for anything. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our groceries to get discounts on gasoline. So here's how it works. Never pay retail, number one. The Shell, Shell has teamed up with Kroger in your area. to So every $100 you spend on groceries at Kroger gets you $0.10 cents off a gallon at Shell. So what that means is up to 35 gallons, you can save $3.50 each time you fill up. And that's savings you put in the bank. You can use it for holiday gifts or whatever. But every time you fill up, you save. And the cool thing about the program is that it's portable. So the points you earn can be taken when you travel into 120 different cities where Shell stations are located. You can get more information about that program at shell.us slash Kroger. The other thing we do is we are like crazy about getting our gas mileage and tracking it because we know that if we drop three miles to the gallon on, uh, on gasoline, it's like spending 32 cents more per gallon. So we track our gas mileage every time we fill up by checking our, the total number of gallons we put in the car divided by the miles we drove and that tells us what our gas mileage is. We always check our tire pressure, we get stuff out of our trunk and we keep our weight down and organize our errands so that we save money at the pump all the time. You've got a large family at home, five kids, and you're feeding them on, what, $350 a month? That's right. Correct. How can we do that mm -hmm. at home as well? I mean, how can we budget that, uh, help our budgets at home? Well, I just think uh, you just need to be aware that debt destroys and frugality frees. So you need to look at the big picture, and you need to say, okay, what, where can I be more careful in how I spend my money? We talked about some of those grocery strategies. There's strategies for clothes. There's strategies for all of life. Life is on sale. Tell me a little bit about your, your strategy on clothing. Well, clothing has several different strategies. One, you can buy end of season clearance sales at department stores and save 80%. You can utilize thrift stores and Opposite seasons are awesome at thrift stores. You can do pants in the summer, shorts in the winter. You can also buy, con buy stuff at consignment stores. We've gotten tuxes for the guys in our family, $25 to $50. We've gotten prom gowns for the girls, $10 to $30. The savings are amazing. So probably right now you're thinking more about past Christmas. You've already probably bought all your Christmas things back this summer, right? Well, we've uh, done a we, lot of Christmas shopping. Yes, we we have. still have a few more things to get. I, I've got a couple things that Annette put on her Christmas list, but <laughs> eBay and uh, and Craigslist. You know, it doesn't have to be brand new. As a matter of fact, first edition books. One of our daughters loves to read, and we get her used books, but they're first edition or collector's items. Look on eBay. Only buy from sellers who have a, a great rating, and you'll save a ton. And so when you look at the whole picture, how are we uh, trying to save money as a family and in the whole? Matter of fact, you have already paid off your house. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we have. And um, 
that took, you know, some work and some effort and some planning and some research and a long time. We don't expect people to function where we are. We've been doing this for a long time. But every little bit adds up. You know, don't think that five cents savings or 10 cents savings on gasoline is wasted. It, you start this strategy on little things and it translates into big things when you're buying cars, appliances, houses, all that stuff adds up and you'll save a ton of money. Life is on sale. You can always save, just never pay retail. Steve and Annette Economides, thank you so much. We've learned so much from you. Hopefully everyone in our viewing audience tonight will be saving money right away. Thanks for being here. You bet. Okay, bye. bye.